Hi, welcome to Hari Systems. In this session, today we will learn about data science interview questions and answers for freshers and experienced persons who are entering into the interviews and facing some uh, assignments regarding data science modules. Let's start the session. What is data science? This is the basic question for the people. Data science is a multidisciplinary field that uses scientific methods, processing, algorithms and systems to extract knowledge and insights from structured and unstructured data. This is how what is about data science exactly. The huge data, the data which is the how much it is huge the analysis part and the result sets will give that much of power of the uh, analysis parts and output result oriented it's a very much a pretty good manner data science is the same concept as data mining and big data use the most powerful hardware the most powerful programming systems and the most efficient algorithms to solve many problems now differences between data science versus machine learning what is the difference exactly the main differences between the two two terms this is the things see here the limitations what are the scope and uh, the scope uh, everything is here de defined and uh, data science what are the scope artificial intelligence role and uh, that is the role and machine learning part what are the observations findings are over here the scope it's a multidisciplinary data science and machine learning it's a training it's itself it's a training the machines and the limitations of artificial intelligence in data science it's a loosely integrated whereas machine learning tightly integrated with the artificial intelligence and role of data science can take a business role for analysis it's a completely analysis part only majorly roles the data science whereas machine learning purely technical role it will lead and now explain data science options and futures about it it's a blend of statistics technical skills and business vision which is used to analyze the available data and predict the future trends on the based on the collection of the data transactions of that particular business series the future scope is very vast for all companies for their future analytical enhancements Dif differences between uh, data science big data and data analytics the major differences are here huge volume of data structured unstructured data semi structured data also using big table like in big data whereas data science deals with uh, slicing and uh, dicing the data and data analytics contributing operational insights into complex business series scenarios for future trends in big data to work on it requires a basic knowledge of statistics and mathematics functions and how to write such a things in max by using in big data whereas data science to handle it requires depth knowledge of statistics and mathematics in data analytics to work on it to require moderate amount of statistics and mathematics which is required to uh, know about the data analytics which language is more suitable for text analytics r or python python consists of a rich library called pandas which allows the anal analyst to use high level data analysis tools as well as data structures while r is not having this future hence my vote is going to be in a python uh, where I am using the pandas and all. The python is more suitable for text analytics and results. Differences between SAS 
R and Python programming. Here SAS is introduced for uh, it is an uh, analytical tool used by someone of the biggest companies who are in it, de IT development environment. It is having the best statistical functions, graphical user interface, but will have come with a licensed versions. It is uh, there is a no open source at all. It is uh, having some uh, have to buy the license. It is a uh, huge money and you have to invoke to adopt such a things. Uh, small companies uh, they may not uh, spend over there that much of amount for the SaaS. Now, there is an uh, R the best part of about R is an open source tool and it is uh, freely available by academia and uh, research communities. It is a robust tool for statistical computations graphical representation and reporting due to its open source nature it is always being updated with the latest features and then readily available for everyone and coming to the python it's an uptrending language it's a powerful open source programming language that is easy to learn works well with most other tools and technologies in upcoming days the best part of about python is that it's having innumerable libraries and community created modules making it's very robust and it is having inbuilt functions of statistical operation model building and many more r and python are two of the most important and open source programming languages for machine learning algorithms now next question is what are the advantages by using R language in data science? See here using the R programming language includes a set of software suit it is ready madely uh, designed in within the R language for graphics and representations, statistical computing, data manipulation and calculations. And now some of the key roles are our programming environment including the following they may raise any question I am uh, completely uh, giving you all, all the key roles of the R programming in vast collection of tools for data analysis it is a having R programming language operators for performing calculations on matrix and array data analysis techniques for graphical representations a high level developed at simple and effective programming language in extensively supports machine learning applications it interacts as a connecting connection between connection bond between various software tools and data sets creating high quality reproducible analysis that is flexible and powerful provides a robust package ecosystems for div diverse needs it is useful when you have a to have to solve a data related problems by using the R programming. And now explain main two components of Hadoop framework. These are the main two components HDFS and ARN are basically two major co components of the framework of Hadoop. HDFS stands for Hadoop distributed file system. It is the distributed database working on top of the Hadoop. It is capable of storing and retrieving bulk data sets in at a single time. And ARN stands for at another resource negotiator. It allocates a resource dynamically and handles the workloads simultaneously. At the same time, multiple requests also it can handle easily. As a data scientist, you need to assume that the interior may raising a question like as a, a data scientist how you use statistics in uh, real time in your in, in your data science program see my uh, suggestion is that statistics help me as a data scientist to look into the data for patterns hidden insights and convert big data into big insights and slicing the data and uh, it helps you to uh, get a better idea of what the customers are expecting from us. As a data scientist, 
I can view about the consumer behavior, interest, engagement, retention and finally conversation although the power of insightful statistics. It helps me to build powerful data modules in order to validate certain inferences and predictions. All this can be converted into a powerful business propositions by giving users what they want to precisely when they want it. And now what is logistic regression? It is very important in uh, data science. It is a model or statistical technique in order to analyze the data set and predict the binary outcome. The outcome has to be a binary outcome that is either 0 or 1, it is like a true or false or yes or no will give the output. Random forest is an important technique which is used to do classification, regression and other tasks on data representations. Now see here. Is data purification is important in data analysis, purification, uh, the filtering, clarification and uh, uh, the filtering, it is junk data is there, raw data is there, something is the mixing of the components of the data may flow, if s, y. Now see here, acquiring the data from different different sources, in with with the data coming from multiple sources, it is a very important uh, that uh, ensuring the data we need to be in a good enough for analysis. What we are going to be analysing that analysis parameter they need an uh, accurate data which we need to process. See here the correcting data records ensuring that data is complete and accurate the components of the data irrelevant or deleted or modified as per the needs of our analysis. It is very important. Once the data is cleaned, conforms with the rules of the data set in the system, we need to move forward to show the representation and uh, which is coming from the multiple resources. Please subscribe, like, share and comment any of your reviews regarding this to get more from Hari Systems channel for all updates. Subscribe, like, share and comment any of your reviews regarding this. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.